Hey everyone and welcome back to Rock Recipes. This is Olivia here and you are joining me in my Toronto kitchen. Spring has sprung, the sun is shining, I simply couldn't be happier about it. And to celebrate, we are going to be making a super simple cookie bar dessert. Um, these are very popular this time of year and very popular around Easter, which is coming up just this weekend. So I'm going to show you how to make our super simple lemon bars. There are only five ingredients in this whole recipe. It's essentially foolproof. Let's get going. I'll show you how it's done. So let's jump right into the base for these beautiful lemon bars. First up, I'm going to be taking two cups of flour and putting that right into a food processor. This is going to be the easiest way to bring that shortbread together. To that, I'm going to be adding half a cup of sugar. And then after that, I'm going to be adding our butter. So here we've got one cup of cold butter cut into pieces. Just adding that right in. And all I'm going to do is pulse it together until I've kind of got a sandy texture. And if you're working with flour in a food processor, a hot tip is to use a towel just to wrap around and it will kind of contain any of that dusty mess. So here I have a 9 by 13 inch greased and lined pan. I'm going to simply pour this into the base and press it down evenly. It's okay if this looks pretty crumbly. Um, it's exactly what you're going for and it's going to work perfectly fine to kind of hold up that lemon custard. Once that's done, we're gonna bake for about 20 minutes until the edges are golden brown in a 350 degree oven or 325 degrees if you are using glass. You'll need two lemons for this recipe and you're gonna start by zesting them both, being careful not to use too much of the pith, that kind of white layer between the peel and the fruit. Once the both of them are zested, we are going to go ahead and finely mince the zest. You want it kind of as small as possible, it's going to achieve the best texture and also get all of those nice lemon oils and flavors out. So right into our bowl with the zest. Next up, I'm gonna juice both of these lemons and I like to do it by hand, it's pretty easy. If you have a firm lemon, just roll it out and get those juices flowing gently. Do it with care. I'm gonna slice these into wedges and using a colander just to catch any of the seeds, I'm just going to squeeze the life out of them. I am going to get all the juice out of each one of those and rinse and repeat until both of them are completely finished. So with our juice and our zest ready in the bowl, we are going to go ahead and start assembling this beautiful golden creamy custard. And that starts by adding four eggs into the lemon. To that mixture, I'm going to go ahead and add one and a half cups of sugar, and then also a quarter cup of flour, which is going to help thicken the custard, bring it all together. Whisk your custard until it's well combined. You can see that beautiful golden color already. And then we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes, let that flour dissolve, thicken it up, and then we'll give it one more stir before it goes into the pan. Pull that shortbread out of the oven and go ahead and pour the custard right on top, and we're gonna bake for another 20 minutes. You'll know these are ready when the custard has set in the middle and the edges are golden brown. Let this cool completely and then finish it off with a dusting of powdered sugar and cut these into bars. This is quite a large recipe in that 9 by 13 inch pan, so I like to cut this in a 6 by 6 formation to make three dozen bars. Um, these are great to freeze. You can have some now, some later, and they're just beautiful. So there you have it, five ingredient lemon bars. These really couldn't be any simpler. They are ready in under an hour. If you're lucky, you might even have all five ingredients at home already, which makes them just a fantastic last minute dessert, a last minute addition to the brunch table or bring it along for Easter. I'm gonna go ahead and taste test one of these. They really got a beautiful golden color and I'm always partial to an end piece because I love that little kind of golden buttery edge. Let's try it. That's such a classic flavor. I love lemon. I think it's so delicate and elegant. I feel like if you bring a lemon dessert anywhere, it will fit in. So for me, this ratio of kind of lemon custard 
to shortbread bottom is perfect. However, some people like more custard. You like more of that lemon curd filling. Of course, I get it. Visit the link to this recipe. I'll attach it to this video and you'll see an option on how to make a thicker lemon layer. It's basically just bumping up the ingredients so you make more um, and then you do the exact same process. Pour it on top, bake it. Very, very simple. Thanks a million for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy video. Happy springtime, happy Easter. I hope you get out and enjoy the sunshine and the fresh air. We will see you soon.